Here's meteorologist Byron Miranda. So today's going to be better than yesterday. So we're going to say that yeah, lower humidity. We'll get right to it now. Lower humidity today. Uh, temperatures about the same though. So right now, not much difference than yesterday. We're in the low 70s unless you're in. Well, we're actually in 76 in Soundview and Paramus 76. And the mid 80s possible today for highs with winds out of the northwest. So that means it'll be less humidity. Tracking flooding rain, and this is the thing. Today you don't need the umbrella. Don't worry about the umbrella today. There is a chance of a drop or two, uh, but that's not a big deal. I wouldn't take the umbrella the entire day. This is the big deal. There is Ida, the remnants of Ida. It's starting to head this way, and it could bring us flooding rain. It's now 746 miles away. Uh, this is going to get here sometime tomorrow through Thursday. Uh, look what happens here. Let's, let's take this step by step. Today, not a big deal, not associated with Ida. We're okay. Then tomorrow, we're starting to see the rain approach as Ida gets closer to us. So if it's 746 miles away from us now, tomorrow it'll be a couple of hundred miles away from us. So the rain will start in the morning probably. And that's correct. It says at 11 that we're starting to see light to moderate rain. When you see Bloomfield, the darker shades of green over Elizabeth and Bayonne, making its way through the boroughs into Long Island, that's about a 10 minute soaker without the umbrella. By two o'clock, if you're north and west, it says the heavier rain over Westchester, uh, back towards, let's go Mount Olive and the red over Clinton. That indicates to me that's a two minute soaker without the umbrella. And then we're talking about flooding rain possible because the rain really starts to pick up in the evening hours. By seven o'clock tomorrow night, we're seeing moderate to heavy rainfall possible, torrential rainfall possible after 9 p.m. By 1030, you look at the darker shade of red here. That shows you some strong updrafts and downdrafts without daytime heating, without the sun. And that is going to be torrential. And if you have flood prone areas, uh, I believe Hoboken has some issues with drainage. Maybe Elizabeth, uh, maybe parts of the uh, Bronx or Brooklyn, we'll have to see, will cause flooding. This is Thursday. The low is just about on top of us in the now the NAM model is indicating that we have very strong updrafts and downdrafts Thursday morning between 4 to 6 a.m. 4 to 6 a.m. over Oyster Bay through uh, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, back towards Mount Olive. When you see that color, you know what that means. If you get shear at the surface, you can get a tornado. I can't rule that out. In fact, I was watching this yesterday uh, through the southeast, and they were seeing tornado warnings because they were seeing the magenta color. That's possible through 8, 9 a.m. as it goes over Long Island and the Hamptons by about 12 o'clock. So it looks like it is going to be a busy rain day uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Lowest model I can give you for rain totals is three inches. Most of the models are indicating up to six inches. A half foot of rain is possible. And the winds, oh my goodness going to take down some trees, I think, uh, with those winds if it gusts up to 41. So today is a good day. Tomorrow, things start to go downhill in the afternoon. And then Thursday, it will be downhill until about the, let's say, 2, 3 o'clock. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're looking pretty good, Marissa.